Militants from Nigeria's oil-rich Niger Delta recently showed off some of their firepower before media cameras as part of an intimidation campaign. Their usual attacks range from stealing oil to kidnapping offshore oil workers for ransom. While these militants have been active as pirates for years, this past year they have had more and more imitators up and down the coast of West Africa. Maritime security experts gathered at a recent conference in Washington to discuss West Africa's growing piracy threat. Daniel Whiteneck said it is scary how easy it is to become a pirate in the Gulf of Guinea. It's pretty cheap to step out there and say, I can engage in quote unquote robbery at sea, uh, smash and grab operations. It doesn't take a lot of capital investment to become a pirate, a successful one. The degree of violence in the region's pirate attacks is also on the rise, according to another expert, Stan Askew. You're looking at militants spraying the wheelhouse with machine gun fire before even getting on board. You're looking at once they're on board, beating crews with rifle butts, people getting whipped with electrical cables, and stabbed and shot quite openly. The experts said the most lucrative target for pirates across the region remains oil interests. New oil producer Ghana is currently getting help from the U.S. military to set up security plans to protect its oil installations. With more and more oil being found further offshore and deeper into the ocean, these installations are becoming more vulnerable to attack, according to Philip Heil. Just taking one crew member off of ship while it's in production will, will could have very uh, negative consequences. Another coastal country, Benin, is currently receiving help from its former colonial power, France, to shore up its own naval defenses. In Benin, more than 20 pirate attacks were reported this year after none in 2010. Experts say it is very difficult to come up with overall regional statistics, but that it is clear attacks are extending further along the coast and becoming more and more frequent. Nico Columbus, VOA News, Washington.